Hello and welcome. Um, I will uh, continue with experimentation I have done long, long time ago, um, but I have done that only with high voltage sources, so it was very, very difficult, maybe for most of you, to follow up how that actually works and so on. Um, we talk, I'm talking about here the Scala energy transmission at a later stage communication as well. It's all part of the same subject. And here we are transmitting energy um, um, a la Tesla's Warncliffe Tower. So I have conducted such experiments in the past. In my videos you have seen them. I did show you how you can improve that. However, these systems have both been on my desk in here in my lab and it was probably difficult to follow up on the subject. So this will be very, very um, easy now and very simplistic. So we have our Tesla coils here in a standard fashion. We are connecting to ground as well on the bottom side and on the bottom side we go for simplicity purpose because we are using low voltage. We go via one wire connection to the remote um, Tesla coil on the bottom on the zero ground as well and we will illuminate or we are charging, we are energizing the other side and uh, will be able to uh, create um, energy for a load. So we have here the power source oscilloscope. I have a um, DM connected DMM connected on the remote Tesla coil and, and here we can see the voltage. We will be able to tune here the remote coil. That means this one's connected and also via N capacitor. And I will go now um, into the details of the remote side. So the wire goes to the remote coil here directly coming out, going over there and over there to the other side. So this wire is a single wire connected to the bottom of the Tesla coil. So when we energize now um, um, system I come uh, to a value of at 4 volt to 80 milliampere I'm consuming and I'm having on a remote side 10 volt voltage drop after the power goes through and I have on the coil here if you have a look over there I have the option then to change the values to the highest level. Increasing now values for the load as you can see it will bright up dramatically at the moment I'm at 12 volt I have 10.4 volt on the um, DMM measured so it will always stop to below 11 volt so you can see here how I can influence that easily with increasing the voltage so this is basically a functionality of voltage over distance whereas the resistance of ground must be compensated via voltage increase the AC frequency will help you anyway to go through the ground but we require higher voltage to do that however for a ground which is easily um, conducting in that way like water that is not necessary so it's very very simple and very easy to transmit energy to um, a boat on a river or on the ocean from land. More details about how to set up uh, the system to configure it and so on on my member website with the coming videos. Thank you.